there's a clown uh, standing at my door looking at me, so I'll be right back. I get away, get away! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video. You know who I am. First and foremost, sorry. Me and I'm doing this video with Pack. Me and Pack just did an entire 20 minute video, and I did I forgot to. There was a setting I had off, and it wouldn't record his. It wouldn't record his audio, so. Yeah. Yeah. And so I have to go back in. I'm I'm on, and I'm playing the video right now, and the quality is even worse than it was when it was recording. But I had to get some gameplay up. So excuse the gameplay in the background. It's very weird. Um, it's just me running around anyway, so. Um, Alright. This video is about Black Ops 4. You know, Pac's got some things to talk about. Um, Pac, are you hot for Black Ops 4? I am very hot. Are you hot? Pac's not hopped. Of course. Okay. Why? Why are you even asking that? There's not a human in this world that's more hopped for Black Ops 4 than me, okay? I'm the biggest Treyarch fan. I'm the biggest Zombies fan. I have, as I said, I have Treyarch's logo tattooed on my butt. I have, I have like 80 hours into Black Ops 3, okay? Um, I want to marry Jason Blundell. I'm currently uh, singing, I'm doing, I'm gonna do a video of me singing him a song. Um, so yeah, uh, of course I'm hot for Black Ops 4. Uh, pardon, um, of course I'm hot for Black Ops 4. Um, can't wait for it. I'm going to be first in line at the minute I release. Um, and if there's someone ahead of me, they're going to get punched. Um, there's no, there, I will not allow someone to buy this game before me. I better be the first purchase. I will not allow someone to buy Black Ops 4 before me. I might do a vlog and I might upload it to my YouTube channel. And if Pat goes with me, I'll get him in the vlog. Um, I always vlog. No. No, no. Anyway, um, <laughs> Black Ops 4. Campaign. I hope that the campaign goes back to the roots of what made Black Ops campaigns so dang good. Well, Black Ops 3 was mind bending. So I can't really say that Black Ops 3 wasn't mind-bending because it was from what I've played of it and from what I've seen videos on it. Because um, I haven't beat the campaign fully. Yes, I know I'm a huge Treyarch fan, but I haven't beat the campaign just because it got so weird. Um, still good though. Uh, but I hope it just gets back to the way Black Ops 1 and 2 were. Those campaigns were great. They're masterpieces actually. Um, and I hope that 4 goes back to that. Pack, what's your thoughts? Uh, I feel like it's gonna go through a Call of Duty Black Ops 2.5. Okay. Uh, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Black Ops 5 confirmed. Um, Black Ops. <laughs> no, I, I, I agree completely. Black Ops, Black Ops 4 in many ways is the Black Ops 3 I always wanted, even though I love Black Ops 3. Um, it's uh, going to turn into the, you know, the game. Um, multiplayer. Um, you know, with multiplayer, it's kind of a, it's kind of a wild card and a question mark because Activision, when World War II got revealed. Um, last year, um, I couldn't, I couldn't take a poop unless I heard from Activision about how World War II was boots on the ground, okay? That's just me being honest. I couldn't do my daily activities without somewhere, somewhere on the news, on Twitter, um, on my hand, something from Activision letting me know that World War II was boots on the ground. Okay, now we didn't get that this year. With Black Ops 4, maybe because we only got the teaser, maybe because of official reveal hasn't happened yet. Maybe it's just, maybe it's that, but the only thing we got from Activision was that this game's groundbreaking and that's going to revolutionize Call of Duty. That's all we got. No mention of boots on the ground, no mention of traditional combat, nothing. 
just groundbreaking. Game changer. I said this the other day. Um, I just said it 20 minutes ago when we him first recorded this video. But I, I don't think it's going to be the advanced movement we know, but I don't think it's going to be just based on the ground. I think that we're going to have something maybe in the same style as Halo 5. Just watch how... Just pay attention to the way they dash because I think that we're going to get something like that. I think we're, you're going to be able to dash like left and right. Um, I do think Slide's going to be back. I kind of hope like... Dolphin Dive was fun for what it was. It, back in the day, it was fun. And I, I did enjoy it somewhat, but Slide just feels so much better just for combat combat and gameplay. Dolphin Dive is obviously more fun, but if I'm going for combat gameplay, I like the Slide more. Um, and I love sliding around in Mork City on Shadows of Evil. Um, it's fun. Anyway. Um, I thought we're going to have Dash, Slide. I don't know if it'll go further than that, though. I don't. A wild Run's not going to be a thing boost jump's not going to be a thing in this game I don't, I don't know well, who knows Treyarch could shock us and you know we will get boost jump again I I don't I don't know about that I don't think they will but pack any thoughts on multiplayer awful quiet uh, the boost jumps really don't bother me on Black Ops 3 but whenever you play Defense Warfare Jesus Christ mm -hmm. that was yeah that's horrifying I've always said that uh, Uh, I feel like he's going to the moon. I really did. Yeah, like, we have a third friend whose name we won't mention on stream, but he always, uh, or on the video, um, um, he always says that advanced movement ruins, um, why did Pac just leave? He just messed up the recording of this video. I'm going to continue anyway. Um, we have a third friend who, um, Woody the Woodpecker. Love you, Woody the Woodpecker. Um, pack ruining recording. Um, we have a third friend whose name we won't mention on camera or on video <laughs> who um, says that advanced move. <sighs> he says that advanced movement ruins Call of Duty. I don't agree with that. Um, I think that. Yeah, advanced movement ruined infant warfare and um, uh, advanced warfare. But Black Ops 3's movement system, oh my. I love the MP. I love multiplayer in Black Ops 3. Um, I think it's so good. Um, it's so fun. Um, yeah. Black Ops 3 movement system, I enjoy. Every other advanced movement, no. So, yeah. I'm cool with it. Are you alive, Pack? Are you good? Apparently not. I'm going to continue this video anyway. Um, let's talk about zombies. This is my territory. This is where I... This is when, you know, when we're in... It's like when you're in the... Like when you're talking to someone. Okay, like if you're... Like right now, like, okay, like this is when... You know, I'm, yeah, I'm talking about campaign. I'm talking about multiplayer and I'm having fun. You know, it's like, oh yeah, it's fun, but... When I start this zombies discussion, you know, I just get that feeling, you know, I get that feeling deep down, you know, inside my pants, you know, and it's like, oh my god, you know, like a zombies. Um, Mob of the Dead Remaster is obviously going to be a thing. I, I don't think there's any doubt in my mind that we're not getting that with the transit crew. I think that we're going to get a London map, and the London map is going to be our story, our big story going forward. The Mob of the Dead Remaster is going to be kind of a side thing. Uh, get to revisit with the transit crew, all that good, all that good jazz. Um, but as far as where the story, I mean, it's it's hard to t like uh, after the revelations in the cutscene, you know, f from Bo2 to Bo3 with Origins, um, you know, I, I don't think that we was in such a dark like with Origins, we slowly figured it out. We still didn't know everything. We we didn't know. When Shadows of Evil, when we, when we played Shadows of Evil and figured out those things, you know, we got more hints and got more answers. Um, but we slowly figured it out. I don't even know if we even have, we don't even have like a, a thought, pro like there's theory videos out there. You know, obviously, you know, we can all make our theories with what's going on with that Revelations in the cutscene. But I don't know if anyone has a true grasp on where, where we are. 
You know, I, I, the Revelations ending cutscene was such a mind-blowing thing that none of us really know what the future is. Like, it, it's just one of those things, like, you're like, <laughs> where do we go? Because, like, we thought that all the universes were gone, all the multiverses were gone. Um, we assumed that the OG4 were just st stuck in the cycle and the cycle was going to continue to repeat. Um, and it's like the community has flip flopped and brought up new ideas, but I don't, I don't feel personally that those ideas have went anywhere. Um, I just think that it's, it's just talk because that's all we can do right now. We can't, I mean, I'm not saying that we came up with a good answer in, from the origins. Obviously the origins in the left us with so many unanswered things that and we won't have our answers until we get BO4. Like, when we get BO4 and we get on those maps and find the Easter eggs and the clues, obviously we're going to get more answers. Um, and we're going to understand, have a better understanding of what's going on. Heck, we might understand everything when we see the reveal trailer. The reveal trailer may show us things that we've been waiting to see. Um, but, um, 